Hello guys, welcome back to the channel here. Uh, this is Thursday evening. I will do the very quick URNM ETF update. As you know, I'm starting to do updates on a very short time frame when we are at moments that is pretty important at that moment in time. Uh, and I still think we are, uh, no change there. So let's uh, just go straight into business here. Uh, um, the longer term stuff, you need to go back and check the previous ones. This is the 15 minute chart so 15 minutes that's basically nothing right and um yeah we started the day here with that volume candle there as you can see you know the first half an hour of of trading um, there's a lot of volatility you know uh, a lot of orders need to be cleared algos going us all over the place so yeah basically yesterday we defined you know we need to get we needed to get above you know roughly this level right here at roughly 53.2 and um and we must hold in my view we must hold that 2021 high at roughly 51.6.5 um again here we hit, we made the candle there hit you know the big resistance the big resistance and also you know that gap right there it is right that that's the gap um and we have a we had a big detour testing the wedge high there you can go back and check where it comes from and then we had some some buying into the close so basically nothing really happened you know we're down 0.7 percent fair, fair enough but you know in in the very short scheme of things nothing has changed um we still have to hold this low here and then we have to hold uh, we have to break through uh, that neckline and that gap that we have that is right there um the good thing is we have the downtrend here in the wedge uh, we break out and go in sideways. So what we want to see, and the reason why it is so important to to break to the upside is obviously you want to have you know the downtrend, the, the basing sideways, and then we want to go higher. Um, we don't want to have the stage four downtrend, then stage one, and then uh, continuation stage four. So basically nothing new. We still have that you know bottoming pattern here. We came all the way down to the right shoulder low. Same thing here again, so it's still valid. So tomorrow could be a day. Again, we also had that chance today, obviously. But we want to wait for that break here. Go to the upside or if it breaks down to the downside. So anything in between here is basically uh, a possible, um, you know, basing here before we go higher. Or it is a stage one continuation and we go lower. Um so yeah, that's really all I have to say for today. Nothing, nothing major. I I did see some of the stock, you know, getting bought up at the end of the uh, of the um, uh, at the end of the of the session here today. So maybe tomorrow we will um, we will see some continuation. Um, also, the URA, the last minute there was some pretty hefty buying. I think so. Again, small time frame stuff. It doesn't really matter long term, you know, my long term view on the weekly and so on. I do that, you know, um, two, three times per week. That's a that is still in a massive uptrend. And now we're just trying to do just to do the short term stuff to see here. Nothing. I'm not trading this. I'm just trying to look for setups, you know, so I have, so I know what to look for tomorrow, really, uh, when it becomes really good or if it starts to to look look bad again. So look for the levels. 51.5, give or take, and 53.2. That is really the big level to go through. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens, guys. Have a great one. Bye.